Hello YouTube. If you're an old codger like me, you look at the pen like this and say, oh, it's one of those countless affordable German piston filler pens from the 60s and 70s, just like these. The semi-inset nib is a definite confirmation until you suddenly realize that something is not quite right. Where is the piston knob? Realizing that the section can be screwed out of the barrel, you get even more confused. The syringe filler? It looks definitely like an Italian pen. So what is this? Of course, the pen is none of the above, but a current model called PC Metal by Kenwright. From one angle, you can say that its general styling harks back to those European pens from that era. But you can also say that it does a good job combining the desirable aspects of these pens and then more. Generally speaking, Kenwright pens are designed to be user serviceable and it is no exception. And the procedures required for operation and servicing are quite intuitive. The syringe filler used here is simplicity itself and it's obviously that it unscrews from the back of the section for cleaning. The nib feed comes out from the front quite easily too, you just pull it out. What is worth noting is that this PC metal employs a very novel feed design, which is the first and probably the only one in the world featuring a hybrid construction with an ebonite unit and an injection molded thermoplastic unit joined together. This is the nib and feed combination pulled from the front of the pen. You can see the underside of the nib has a flat surface. The ebonite part of the feed sits inside the thermoplastic part. The ebonite part pulls the ink from the reservoir to regulate ink flow and air ink exchange. And then the thermoplastic part, with an upper contour matching the underside of the nib, creates a large ink film due to capillary action, thus creating an enormous supply buffer for the nib. For a pen that looks so deceptively simple and unassuming, it has some pretty serious design and engineering hidden away at where it counts. I believe the designer went much further than what is strictly necessary to provide an extra reliable ink supply system with an enormous headroom. Quite a while ago, I left a filled PC metal on my kitchen table, which sees a fair bit of sun every morning for six weeks. As I picked it up again, it started immediately without the slightest hint of hard starting, which I considered quite a remarkable feat. These PC metal examples are admittedly from an earlier collection. I do not think these colors are available now. These early ones originally came with simple O-rings as piston rings, which exert a lot of expanding force against the inside of the cylinder. Current examples are now fitted with double seal piston rings, which are just as effective, if not more so, but much gentler on the cylinder and makes operation much smoother. On these examples, I have upgraded to new rings. Like sleeper cars in the automotive world, the PC metal might not wow bystanders by the appearance, but then its performance is more than adequate to put it mildly. And it is well worth auditioning if you're looking for a pen that simply works and works well. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be back soon. Bye for now.